Hey guys, welcome to What's on Linux with Sovakeen. Today I'm looking at Mountain Blade Warband. This is the native port, native code, not the wine wrapped version that is available as a non beta. This is actually considered beta level software. Gotta say, played around with it a little bit. I'm impressed. I am impressed. It's working pretty good. Uh, if you take a look in the options menu here, you can see. All the normal video options you would expect are there. It's saying I'm going to get a 64% performance instead of anywhere in the 100%s. But I think I can play with this. Uh, I had everything on a little lower before and it was running great, no problems whatsoever. So I figured I'd crank it up for the video and let's see what happens. Uh, again, this is native port. Everything here looks like it should be on Windows. It's what you would expect on Windows, except, of course, no option to choose between DirectX 7 and DirectX 9. It's OpenGL only, baby. So let's jump in. We'll start a brand new game. And i got to go through all the questions, normal questions. I'll be a male. Uh, my father was... Uh, he was a veteran warrior. I worked as a street urchin. I became a squire. And I was... Uh, I have wanderlust. Become an adventurer, ride to your destiny. Realistic, of course. No quitting without saving. Tutorial. Okay. Well, I already did this with the tutorial. So, okay. Whatever. So, everything looks pretty straightforward here. Still has the normal... Uh, skills that you can pick from. Iron Flesh, of course, is a good one. Increases hit points by plus two. Always good to have that. Intelligence doesn't need to be so high for me. Uh, although it is good to be a trainer. So I'm going to put that up one. But the intelligence is, is one of the great things to have. Same with charisma, if you're going to be a leader. And I would rather have a big party. So have my trainer... Uh, wound treatment is always good. Party healing speed is increased. I, no, I can get a follower for that. No, actually, I'm going to put that up. That's a good thing to have. I'll get a follower for leadership and trade. Uh, weapon master is good to have. Puts the weapon proficiencies up. I want to be able to use a shield. I need to have speed. Definitely riding. And power throw. I'll use throw thrown weapons instead of other kinds of weapons for range. So as you can see, I've got my pole arms pretty good. One-handed is okay. Two-handed is okay. Archery and crossbow suck. Throwing is way below average. But that's fine. Let's jump in. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what. Let's just randomize it a bit. Um... I'm getting the tutorial displays. Maybe it's something that I have to turn off and haven't done yet. Let's go with that one. It looks absolutely nothing like me. Caravan to Praven, the Kingdom of Swadia, Kingdom of Vagars. You know, I usually go Kingdom of Vagars. I think this time I'm going to go to the Nords. Yeah, let's go to the Nords. Let's do that. Whoa. Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. Hit him. All right. Shield and hit him. Hit him. Got him. There we go. So, as you can see, it is running just as well on Linux as it ever did in Windows. Graphics look just about the same. There's no real difference. It's an old game just released for Linux. But it's a good one. I get, gotta say, I had a lot of fun playing this when I was younger. Uh, not that much younger, of course. If I can remember the buttons. Oh, yeah, okay. Jump. Lock. Okay, Q. No. Okay, which one's the use button again? F, there we go, that's what it is. That is default bindings. If you can believe I forgot already, I haven't talked to people in the last one I played. Uh, I am interested. Let's do that. Let's go get... 
the volunteers and save his men here. Yes, I know that. Let's see if I can turn that off, the tutorial stuff. It's probably an option I can just turn off in here that I forgot to do so. Uh, not seeing tutorial options in here anywhere. Targeting ridicule, shot difficulty. Well, it wouldn't be in there. How do I turn tutorial off? Well, I'll figure that out later. Probably won't be doing a playthrough of this one anyway. But it's nice to see. So, return to game. So you can stick it in third person. You can get to first person, no problem. You can press tab key to quickly exit. See, there you go. And it works just about the same. You have scroll with the mouse wheel, no problem. Uh, is trying to drag around here. Moving is just done up and down. It's it's it works. I gotta say it's a really nicely done port. I don't see any problems with this. They'll probably be able to use the same technology to port things over. Let's get three there. I don't need to take hostile actions. Sea Raiders, huh? Caring Castle. Let's go there. Press a meeting with someone. The Jarl. Sobakin, at your service, sir. Okay. Uh, do you have any tasks for me? I intend to pass by Hru's Castle. It would be no trouble. All right, then. So I just have to bring a letter to a guy at the castle. All right. All right, they're leaving me alone now. I can go pick up other guys. Whose castle's way over there? I'll go to Jelbegi. And I think I'm going to get into a full-on battle next time I see somebody to fight. Usually no lack of them. Manhunters following sea raiders. I will break from your sky. Not afraid of you. I will fight. Okay. Uh, charge the enemy. Now, of course, you can do movement orders. Hold position. See, just like that. They come back and they'll hold their positions. Now, if I had any archers, they would actually shoot at these guys for me. Now I have to reload my crossbow, which takes forever. Right up a bit. So things are working really well, I gotta say. There's no problems at all with this. Uh, let's go there. My crossbow's improved a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, movement orders, charge. Where's my horse head? There we go. Haha. <laughs> I'm probably going to die my first time through here. Uh, yep, yeah, there I go. Knocked out. We all knew that was going to happen. Don't even try to think otherwise. We all knew it was going to happen. Enemy casualties. None. Wow, that's bad. Pull back. Yeah, okay. Um... So, as you can see, it works great. <laughs> they killed me. I'm now being chased by a lot of them. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Deliver the message. Collect five men. Tavern at Sargoth. So, let's head back to Sargoth and we'll talk to him. So, as you can see, guys, just this little bit of playing I've been doing. I did do another about 40 minutes into this beforehand and it's working wonderfully. I have absolutely no complaints with the native port. I, I'm i just supremely happy with it. It's working better than I ever could have hoped. So guys, this game is a definite must-buy. This is something every Linux gamer needs to have in their library. I'm not kidding. If you don't have Steam, go get it just so you can get this game on Linux. It's a wonderful game. Definitely worth the price of admission. I believe it's on there for less than $20 right now. It's really the best way to go. So definite recommend buy. 
that's been this episode of What's on Linux. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.